I would like to thank Carissa McKnight and Kevin Smith. You both sent this article practically at the same time. So I want to thank both of you for this article that came out in Axios, Mitch, Moscow, Cocaine, McConnell, Fractures Shoulder After Falling at Kentucky Home. Boy, this was just, what, two weeks after everything came out about his family being slave owners and then he smirked bringing out Obama. And, oh, yeah, I remember that. Don't y'all remember that? Two weeks. And here we are, Mitch with a fractured shoulder after falling at his Kentucky home his spokesperson said in a statement Sunday, the 77-year-old man retire already. McConnell has been treated and released from the hospital and is working from his home in Louisville. The big picture, the injury comes as a number of Democrats and some Republicans have called upon McConnell to cancel the Senate's August recess so that lawmakers can pass gun control legislation in the aftermath of two deadly mass shooting this weekend. Um, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi demanded on Sunday that Senate Republicans put an end to their outrageous obstruction referencing McConnell refusal to bring two background check bills passed in the House this year for a vote on the Senate floor. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, no matter how many people get shot in this country, they are not going to do anything about guns. I, I think if you don't know that by now, you don't want to know. Seriously. Look, when the school shooting happened down in Florida, those were children asking them to make changes, and they did absolutely nothing. If you think they're going to do something about guns after these two back-to-back -back mass shootings happened, you got another thought coming. I think you're dreaming if you believe any changes are going to be made. They're simply not going to do it. History should tell you. They're not going to do it. I mean, mass shootings have been going on forever in America. And everything just continues on. They just hope that you will just forget about this whole thing and move on. Yeah, there'll be protests out in the streets, people protesting. And then you're going to have the counter protesters. Bodies aren't even in the ground and they're already complaining about you're not going to take their gun. You ain't going to take nothing away from them. I got the right to have a gun. That's, or, or you're going to get that same stuff. You know, my grandmother said something really interesting years ago. She said they like this kind of propaganda being out there. Because each and every time, it always have the opposite effect of what you think. You would think, okay, all these people were gunned down. You know, maybe people will calm down and, you know, and not want so many guns. It has the opposite effect in America. Just watch what goes on. As soon as these mass shootings are done, this just go to show you the level of sickness in this country. They go out and run and buy even more guns after the mass shootings. Just look at the news. Watch the news. Gun sales go through the roof after mass shootings. It is a big moneymaker tool for the gun companies. And these gun store owners, mass shootings, give them more money. They, they got more money coming. But that's how things are in America. They don't buy less guns. They buy more guns after each and every shooting. This week, gun sales will probably go through the roof in America. It always does. Just keep your eyes 
on these things after mass shootings. And that just goes to show you the sick nature of this country. Or they'll have a gun show and damn near sell out. Okay, that's what happens in America after each one of these shootings. And the people that want something done about guns will still be whining when the next mass shooting come. And then the next and the next and the next and the next. You got to understand these folks are nothing without a gun. Absolutely nothing without one. You can't hold the world hostage, hostage unless you have a gun and all kinds of weapons. And that's what they literally are doing. Holding us all hostage. But the bottom line is, ladies and gentlemen, I have never seen them take a big measure against gun ownership in this country. And it's really unfortunate. And my heart goes out, especially to the Dayton victims that were all announced. Um, but the chances of you seeing them do something about guns in this country are very slim. They are determined to have access to their guns because that is an extension of their manhood. Otherwise, you know, we, we've seen them fight without guns. It's a sorry sight, y'all. <laughs> it's, a, it's a sorry sight. They really, truly need those guns for real. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. You know, Mitch McConnell fell at his house and looked like he fractured his shoulder from the fall. Really interesting, Mitch. I wonder if you're going to be mentioning Obama now that your shoulder is fractured. You never know. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.